In LumaFusion version 5, there is going to be two new transition packs, the Flip set and the Mod Circles set. I am Stu, welcome back to another LumaFusion demo. Let's get started. The guys at LumaTouch want me to sort of tell you that I'm using a pre-release version of LumaFusion version 5. So obviously there's still a few bugs and a few changes being made to the software before they do the release candidate that you guys will be able to get. Now let's go on with the flip transitions. We've got two new transition packs, the flips and the mod circles. I think the mod either stands for modern or modern. When it comes to the flips, we've got a straight flip up, A to B, flip down, flip right, flip left, then we've got a cube flip up, Cube flip down, cube right, and cube left. So when you're applying these, just obviously drag them on. I've just got the standard one second transition. What I'm going to do though is I'm going to reduce that to 12 frames. And then if you run it through. Now where I think it maybe look a bit better. As you can see these two grayed out layers above, we actually take that transition back, switch these guys on. I should say the one below, it's just a 4K old paper film look overlay. Just for a bit of texture. And then we've literally got duplicates of the two main clips that are on the timeline. Okay, well, I spoke too soon, and I think I managed to jinx myself in the process. We're onto two slightly different clips because said bugs reared their ugly heads and wouldn't allow me to do what I wanted to do to show you the way I would use the flip transitions. So what we've got is a more simplified version. It's the same technique, but it's just more simplified. So in other words, I've got the two main video clips on the second layer, and below that, I should have duplicates of the video clips, but I've actually just had to resort to having two stills. Now the effect will still work, but normally I would just duplicate the video clips. So without further ado, let's go to the middle, and we will drag down, flip, and we'll see how it does its thing. I'm going to keep it to the standard one second transition time and then I'll reduce it to where I think it should be when you're using something like this. So rather than doing it on the main timeline and getting black, having what would normally be two video layers below, you will see it's just a cooler way to have the images below. You could even go as far as to add a blur to the layer below. Then when you do the transition, it does that. It looks really, really clean. So that's how I would use it. But what I would do is probably speed things up a bit. So if you were on a 24 frames per second timeline, which I think this is, I would reduce it to basically half a second or 12 frames. Play it through. And that just moves things along a little bit faster. If we do the flip down version, it just goes the opposite way. Flip right. Flip left. You get the idea. Then we have the flip cube up. And then flip cube down. Flip cube right. Then we have flip cube left. And I think having it just for the 12 frames actually works a lot cleaner. And also having it above even just two static images rather than on black which would look like that is just a little bit cleaner you can see the transition there when it comes to using the mod circles you only need the sort of main timeline area you don't need to sort of be layering up as i did previously with the flips so the first one we've got is mod circle large we'll see the overall effect of that and i think this is going to be the opposite of where we were before. If I reduce things down, it's just too fast. Whereas keeping it to one second, I think in this instance, I actually want to see the effect. So we do a medium, see how it looks. Medium circle spin. Yeah, quite like that. Circle small, this is where it's going to get interesting for me. 
Yeah, that was cool. Then a wave effect. Yeah. Circle micro. And then finally, mod circle micro spin. And these are all pretty cool. As I say, I'm not a big transition user anyway. And when I do tend to use transitions, I tend to use them as a way of bringing something in and actually moving the whole element in. So, you know, the likes of the slides or sometimes a soft wipe, that kind of thing. We're using it with titles. Use a lot of transitions with titles and that. But it works well and it's good to see that we're getting just some extra transitions as part of Luma Fusion version 5. If you've enjoyed the video today, by all means, give it a like. Don't forget to subscribe, ring the bell to be notified of the next video tutorial, and I will catch you on the next one. See you later!